Imagine losing a child during delivery and then facing a lifetime of endless pain, uncontrollable urine leakage, and the passing of feces. This is the reality of some women suffering from obstetric fistula, a childbirth injury that results from prolonged and obstructed labor. In an investigation by Side of Net, we share the stories of Naomi and Anna, two Liberian women among the more than 2 million women in Sub-Saharan Africa and Asia living with untreated obstetric fistula, according to the World Health Organization. Obstetric fistula occurs when an abnormal opening thumbs between a woman's vagina and her urinary tract or rectum. The prevalence of fistula in these regions is driven by factors such as early age pregnancy, inadequate obstetric care, shortage of skilled birth attendants, rape and other abuses, scarce medical supplies, and weak health infrastructure. While fistula can be treated through multiple surgeries, many women in Liberia are unable to access this care and the road to recovery is long and uncertain. The situation is even more dire as the only health facility in the country dedicated to fistula care is struggling due to discontinued funding from foreign donors. So, what is the government there doing about this, you may ask? Experts such as John Muba, a Liberian gynecologist and a professor at the University of Liberia's Medical College, say the Liberian government hasn't shown political will to protect women's reproductive rights. This is evident in the absence of funding for fistula care in Liberia's health budget since 2018. Despite this bleak situation, those women affected continue to hope that the government will intervene, allowing them to rebuild their lives and escape the social stigma they currently endure. But will their voices be heard? For more details on other developments in science and technology in Sub-Saharan Africa, visit our website www.tidevnet and do not forget to share your thoughts in the comment section.